Hello everybody, my name is Bling, and today we have more Xenoblade X. Now today is going to be another build video, I'll be showing off another build that I came up with, and today I'll be showing off a uh, Gravity Photon Saber. Uh, as the name implies, this will be a build that revolves around using a gravity attributed photon saber. Uh, the goal with this build is just to sort of get a little synergy going on, like with my other builds, and sort of just do something cool, more or less, that's what it comes down to at the end of the day. But let's go ahead and take a look at what we got going on here. Now first things first, I'm going to show off the aesthetics here. Uh, this isn't really an armor set, but it's just a combination of different armor pieces from various other armor sets. Uh, I don't really know what the visitor and the Braxes are from. I just know that they look good. Uh, but the Yimzel and the Yims are from uh, Orphean Light. This is the second to highest tier, I believe. Ultra Regal of the, the Orphean gear. It looks really nice, nice and edgy. Uh, edgy looks nice sometimes. And it also works good with my Photon Saber because the Photon energy from this photon saber is red as well which looks really nice but anyway let's see what we got going on here uh you don't need potential for this type of build so i'm running utility on my dual guns got crit chance up and the overdrive count up uh if you couldn't tell this is going to be a crit build this will be using a crit aura and just the goal is to crit as much as possible as you will see we'll be creating 100 percent of the time once we get our aura up uh, with this kind of build, you can pretty much run whatever you want to on your armor slots. I decided to go with 100 or a rapid cooldown. This makes it so that I have a free skill slot to use for whatever I want. And you will see what I, I put there uh, in a few seconds. I decided to put on some resistance reducer as well because I guess the higher level tyrants, they are more uh, resistant to debuffs. So this resistance reducer, resistance reducer will make it so it's a lot easier for me to get my gravity rest down on them via Solite Duster, which uh, does rest down, obviously. Uh, I have an extend gravity rest down because, I, in my opinion, I do want to have my rest down on there longer. I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of damage, sacrifice a melee attack up in order to keep that debuff on them longer so I can have more time to actually do damage on them. I uh, got a little bit of secondary cooldown reducer on me to just make it easier to get to my arts faster, uh, my tertiary cooldowns faster. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what we got going on there. Let's take a look at the arts here. Now this is a very, very broad build. You can do a lot of stuff with this, this set this set of uh, arts that you have here from dual guns and photon saber. But this is what I personally picked up. You can do a whole lot of other things you can run combat limbo instead uh you can run starfall blade you can run the entire starfall um set if you want to uh and yeah you can just do a number of different things but this is what i have going on here uh, like i said earlier this is a crit build we're using early bird uh early bird not only increases our crit chance but once we use primer and then we use early bird it will essentially turn this critical power five into critical power six which in other words means that we will be getting the maximum critical damage that we can possibly get uh, keep in mind that crit builds are not as strong as like just boosting builds. Like if you were to run a uh, dual dynamo instead of early bird, you will be getting more damage. But like I said earlier, we're using dual guns for the survivability that it gives us and the ease of use that it gives us via ghost walker. And you will lose that with uh, psycho launchers in order to get that dual dynamo boost. So you're pretty much sacrificing damage in order to actually live longer and easier. Uh, and I personally prefer that. Um, if you can make it work, you can definitely go for it, obviously. You know, I'm not telling you guys what you should and should not do. But I just personally prefer this survivability and ease of use that dual guns gives me. Uh, <clears throat> as you see, I do not have Starfall Blade with me. And that's because I gave it up for 0, zero. I personally prefer having the ease of use that combo and primer into zero, 0 gives me by giving me 20 count to my overdrive counter. For those who don't know, you combo uh, green art into any art with a hit count, you will get double that art's hit count to your overdrive counter. So combo primer into zero, 0 I'll get 20 to my overdrive counter, which is very nice. Essentially, you only have to do this five times and I will be at max count, which will be extremely easy considering I have the aura rapid cooldown, 100 aura rapid cooldown, so I can just instantly just keep doing it five times in a row. But yeah, uh, the reason I picked Starfall Blossom over Starfall Blade is because of the TP bonus that it has. As you can see, I do not have any purple arts on me. And for those who don't know, when you have a purple art and you use it on overdrive, it will give you a TP bonus up to 1000 TP per hit at maximum count. So that pretty much makes it trivially easy to keep overdrive up and keep your buffs, whatever TP arts you have uh, readily available to use. 
and I do not have that. So you might be thinking I'm having some, I'm gonna have some trouble with TP. Even with S and Exchange, you cannot spam S and Exchange with this build because I do not have a heal. And you are not particularly wrong. Uh, TP is a little bit rough to deal with, but when I combine zero zero, or rather Starfall Blossom zero zero and Primer together, uh, I will be able to keep my TP up to where I can keep my auras ready and my TBR is ready and reactivate overdrive if I need to. Uh, because for those who don't know, uh, blue and green arts will refill your overdrive meter a little bit. So it will give you more time to build up that TP with zero zero and Starfall Blossom. So it's a lot of synergy there going, working together. And also another sort of like side thing that, that I think is really cool is that even though you don't have a healing art, uh, you have the soul challenges and soul challenges heal you when you respond to them. So this sort of this build sort of makes it so you get rewarded for doing these soul challenges. And usually soul challenges are pretty annoying in most cases, especially in builds like this. But you actually get rewarded. You get more health, and the more health you get, is the more TP you'll get from using S Exchange. So you're pretty much getting a huge prize from uh, responding to those soul challenges from uh, S Exchange, which is really cool. It's just sort of like another little bit of synergy that just really makes it makes the build worthwhile um and you can see uh as you will see when i fight lucio here in a few minutes a few seconds rather uh this build has absolutely no trouble dealing with lucio uh kills lucio very fast and it just goes to show that you can pretty much do whatever you want to in the game as long as you put a little bit of work into it you can make you can make the dream work and uh yeah, that's really all these build all these build videos are about is just showing you stuff that you can make work and you know let your imagination run crazy and have a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, real quick, we'll take a look, a look at the skills. Like I said earlier, I have one free skill slot that I use. I decided to use uh, gravity boost. It'll increase the damage by a little bit, not a whole lot, but it's a little bit, and that's what matters. Uh, other than that, I have my muscle or assault. Or assault is an absolute must for this build, uh, or really any melee build especially when you're going to be taking on the higher level tyrants with the um, higher evasion that they have. Secondary Accelerator, very nice to have, and Supreme Sword. Supreme Sword will give us a little bit more damage. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. hope you guys really like this build. Um, hope it, hopefully it inspires you to come up with something fun and unique of your own. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and have a great day. Did it!